Hi, welcome to this uh, solved problem from physics models and we'll take you through a topic under electromagnetic waves which is displacement current. So it's given in the problem that there is an electrical circuit with a battery and a parallel plate capacitor. The current is given as 5 amperes. We have to find the relationship between the displacement current and the conduction current. We now look at the beautiful circuit that's shown here. There is a battery and the positive terminal of the battery is connected to one plate of the capacitor. The other plate of the capacitor is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. A current starts flowing shown as a pink arrow that's the conduction current and as that conduction current flows the charge builds up on both plates of the capacitor. One plate is positive and the other plate will be negative. Because the charge buildup is changing with respect to time, the electric field between those plates shown as red arrows also changes with time. The magnetic field around the electric fields also changes with time. As a result of this, now let's look at the equation. The electric field between the capacitor plates is given by E is equal to 1 by epsilon 0 into Q by A. Q is the charge flowing and A is the area of the plate. And let's not forget the time element as well. Now the electric flux between the plates is nothing but electric field into the area of the plates. So that's E into A. When we multiply that, we'll get electric flux is equal to one by epsilon zero into Q because A and A will cancel. Maxwell's equation says that the displacement current ID is equal to epsilon zero into D by DT of electric flux. The d by dt comes because flux is changing with time and if we substitute into this equation we will see that epsilon 0 and epsilon 0 cancel in the equation and we get a displacement current id is equal to dq by t now d by dt of q is nothing but the rate of movement of the charge q that is the definition of current q is coming from the battery not from anywhere else and the current therefore cannot accumulate freely. is the same dq by dt that has to continue between the capacitor plates therefore id is equal to ic that's the relationship and that's the value as well thank you i hope you found this video useful have a great day